Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you had a good Mother's Day. I had a good one. I don't have kids, but um, as you know, my mom passed away about five months ago. So my husband and I went to uh, get a tree to plant uh, in our backyard so that it's uh, it reminds us of her. Of course, I don't think I need any reminder, but it is a nice gesture. And at first I wanted a cherry blossom tree, but I ended up with a hydrangea tree. I think that's how you pronounce it because it was, um, the cherry blossom was like 30 feet tall. So it was way too big for my backyard. And this one, my, both my sisters confirmed to me that is one of my mom's favorite tree. Okay. Today I want to talk to you about uh, doing art shows and my 14 reasons why uh, doing art shows is really good for your business. Now, when we first started out, when my husband and I first started out, we, of course, had no plans and had no ideas how we we're going to make our business work because we were newbies and uh, we were just coming. We were doing a lot of um, uh, craft shows in the Cayman Islands, as well as doing art shows and getting a uh, gallery representation. And when we came back from the Cayman Islands, we uh, decided that Paul decided he was going to go full time with his handcrafted jewelry. And then we decided, well, you know, not knowing what to do and we were completely new to the business, we thought, okay, we'll rent a kiosk in the mall and that was the biggest mistake we've ever made in our business life. We did that for, I think, three months and as we, you know, the mall was, first of all, way too expensive and the other thing too is like, you don't really sell handmade stuff in the mall because that's not the right market and so we did two mistakes there and for three months we watched our savings you know, going down the drain. So we decided to shut it down, pack it and move it. And the next thing we did was actually our, the second step was the right step. It was uh, doing a program in Kelowna, BC, and that is the Art in the Park program, which is no longer uh, available. But that was a great program because it was very inexpensive. Uh, the setup is pretty much like a farmer's market setup, but we were allowed to do it every single day so that was fantastic so whenever it's gorgeous out we're out there doing it and uh, the setup was not ideal because it was outdoor so you had to you know make sure you're you're set up really well with weights and all of that and we actually did the whole full setup I mean this is not you know I'm not talking about art I'm talking about my husband's jewelry but it's still very relevant the story but we actually had to we brought mannequins and everything and because of been outdoor, the wind gusts and everything, we had to bring weights, we had to clamp things down, strap things down. So it was quite complicated, but um, it was uh, very good for us because we were able to test our products, refine them. Uh, I'm glad we did because when we first started doing our uh, jewelry, we didn't have the right um, uh, tiger tails and materials, so we didn't know what was working well for us. So when we were testing it, we realized that we needed something different uh, to make it, our jewelry last longer. So that was fantastic because it was, uh, like I said, it was inexpensive. So we were able to afford the time to test the product. And after that, we uh, did the arts and crafts as well. I was still selling my art via uh, galleries representation. And then uh, four years of that, we save up our money, we purchase a building, and we open our first art gallery. And our first art gallery uh, was fantastic. By then, we had adequate um, uh, business education, adequate, no, not completely perfect, but adequate. And we were still doing art and craft shows. And by then, I pulled out from the galleries in Cayman Islands because it was too complicated sending paintings over there. And it was expensive as well and start doing the art and the, the jewelry in the gallery so when we were doing that um, I find that the the art shows and the craft shows was fantastic because it really is the right market and here are my 14 reasons why I think it's great and also if you're at uh, if you're still have a 9 to 5 job and you want to test your water you know do it now because First of all, when you do art shows and craft shows, uh, you'll find that it's very affordable. You can test the water. It won't cost you too much money. You can still keep a nine to five job and you can test your products and see what works, what doesn't work. And also the fact that um, 
you can uh, find a way that to meet people and also other ways of doing your art is also doing the uh, having a website but having a website is not as easy as you think you know you can't just put your up art there and thinking that people are going to start purchasing from you it needs a lot of support system for example your social media a blog a good subscriber list and that's the only way to you know keep your online business going and churning well the other way is of course doing shows and i find doing shows is one of the most effective way of doing uh, your online business and giving it a good boost because you're actually one on one with somebody and you actually get to see your customers get to talk to them so that's the best way to give your business that big boost and also to uh you know when you talk to people you can actually ask them questions when you ask them questions you can learn a lot about uh, your products now i've got 14 reasons why i think doing art and craft shows is a fantastic thing First of all, it's the right market. When you pick the right show, uh, most people are there to look for something that is um, creative and also something that's handmade and they're also looking for art. So you're already in the right market. So there's a great opportunity to, to meet people. The second one is uh, meeting people on one-on-one -on -one conversations. It built the trust and like factor. So when you meet people, it's very different. The rapport you get to talk to people and to basically show people who you are and what you're all about is so much more effective. For instance, when I had my gallery, it's fantastic because I got to meet a lot of people. We had a lot of conversations and it really just, you know, give you that more in-depth relationship with your customers or your potential customers. And that makes it easier. Whereas online, because we are, you know, first of all, you, you are on the computer or you're on Facebook Live. It's not the same because you have to kind of like almost have to reach out. It, and it's kind of hard to reach out when you're on the screen, right? So when you are one-to-one -one with somebody, the rapport is different. The person can feel your charisma. They can feel your energy and you can feel their energy as well. So you can read people a lot better. And uh, number three, the good reason is also that uh, doing art shows is, is affordable. So this way, because it's affordable, it's great for your business. You can grow your business, you can test your products. And it's, um, it's not that it's not only just affordable, but you have to be careful in how you pick your um, art shows as well. Make sure you pick something that's close to your town so that you don't have to have overnight stay and all of that which we did we did have a few shows that were overnight stay and you know it was because the shows were good it was still affordable for us but you have to look at it very um business-like you have to look at it in a business point of view what is a good show for you to do uh I'm designing a course right now and my course actually goes into details what kind of questions you can ask before you commit to a show and also what to bring and how to do it so that it's very uh, lucrative for you. Number four, it's great networking with artists and networking is a fantastic thing to grow your business because you get to talk to other artists and you can ask them what kind of shows they've done, you know? And I remember when we were doing shows, we talked to a lot of artists all the time because there's always some quiet time that you can mingle. So you get to talk to different artists, you can look at their art, you can, you know, ask them the shows they have done, what has worked for them, what hasn't. Um, I remember there's this guy called Oliver. I believe he moved to PI. I should go look for him because now I'm in Eastern Canada as well. And he and I used to, you know, talk about our art and his art was very, um, was also figurative. So it was always fun to basically share our knowledge with each other and say, you know, what worked, what didn't work. Uh, the fifth reason is great for publicity, media coverage, or industry connection. Now, that is so true because I remember doing art shows. I actually got a write-up on a newspaper. I got my art chosen for the posters and the uh, art uh, brochure. And I also got to meet um, uh, media coverage and got to meet some industry connection as well. So I actually got a connection that I was selling my prints in this uh, art gallery. So when you put yourself out there, it's never a minus, it's always a plus. You get to meet so many people and because it's an art show 
or a craft show, let's say, you know, you get the right market, right? It's not the same if you were, let's say, uh, online. I mean, it's such a big market. So you are just a speck of dust in the midst of all these artists. So it's really hard to get the attention. But when you are actually in your booth, you have all your artwork showing and all the prints, all your products there, you get to see people, you talk to them. It's a completely different story. It's a lot more effective. Uh, it's good revenue if you're well prepared, but the, the key word is really preparation. Um, if you don't have any, you know, if you don't have enough products, if you don't have enough backup, then your show is not going to be as effective. I remember when I was doing them uh, full time and part time, my getting ready for the show was very intense because we had to do a lot of prints. We had to do a lot of because we have stories. We printed them out. Same with our jewelry. All our jewelry has stories as well. So that was very intense and we had to get really prepared in what we're doing. And um, you can also build your subscriber list. So um, one of the way to build subscriber lists is have a form for them to fill up when you're at the shows and always give them an exchange. For instance, they can do a draw for a free print or you can do um, you can have a draw for pre free print or you can also have a 10% off on the first purchase. You know, do something attractive. Don't just say, oh, well, you'll be the first to know if there's a sale or, you know, that that doesn't really, you know, do it. People want something in return. So make sure you have a form for them to fill up so they can get the subs you can get the subscriber list. OK, um, refine your products by listening, because if you talk to people, you will always find out what works, what doesn't work. And if people say, oh, you know, do you have this in a larger print or do you have this? Um, you know, I'm interested in your birds uh, paintings, but do you have an eagle or, you know, do you have a chickadee bird? Right. So you, when you listen to people and if they tell you something that they're interested in, make sure you get the contact. If you don't have that product, make sure you get the contact, get them to subscribe and make the little notes that says this person's interested in an eagle or a chickadee or whatever. Right. And then when you do make that original artwork or that print, make sure you contact them. Follow up. Always follow up. It's very important while you're there that you spend all your energy getting to know people and talk to people, okay? Um, the other one is send people to your website. Number nine is send people to your website. So have your business cards printed, send them to your website so that they can uh, buy online. So some people may not be ready to purchase right there and then. They may be ready to purchase, you know, after the show. So make sure you have that, okay? And also uh, commit it to the, the thing about the art show that's really good too for uh, people that have a nine to five job or a side hustle job is that uh, you can still have a nine to five job. You can commit to the art show, the duration of the art show and still have time to paint and work. So it's a fantastic way to just basically have it all, right? So you don't you don't have to commit to it 100%. You can test your products at that time. It's um, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to do it because if you do it, then you can also learn um, your your sales pitch. You can get used to how to do it. All right. Because I find when you open a business, the the scariest part really is, you know, meeting people and what to say, because, you know, now you're sort of put in put in a corner and, you know, people are right there. You have to be able to sell yourself. If you don't, you're wasting time at the uh, art shows. Number 11 is validate your art that you can sell in front of strangers. And that is so true because, you know, if you've been selling to your friends and family, it's not the same because it's much easier. You have to validate your art. You have to validate your business in front of strangers. And if the strangers love your art and you're able to sell to them, that means you can actually do it as a business. But don't just give up on the one, you know, on the first try. You know, go back to the story when I, you know, when Paul and I were doing in the mall. I mean, three months of, you know, not doing well didn't um, make us go, well, I guess that's it. We have to pack our bags and, you know, forget about the business. That's not true. Just keep practicing. So if your first show is not great, go back and do it again and keep practicing. Okay. It's, uh, it's about practicing and knowing that what didn't 
go well and going back to drawing board, doing and trying to find a solution. That's how you get better and better at your business. And number 12, great way to be part of the community. So true. I love that. I love the fact that, you know, when we were doing the shows and all of that, I really, you know, it was wonderful to meet people because then you get to see the regulars all the time. And it just felt like, you know, it's a great way to meet the community. And, you know, eventually you know them by name. So it's fantastic. Um, number 13, it's a great boost to your online sale. Yes, because... Like I said, if having a website is not enough, you have to do so much. You've got to have your blog, your social media, you've got to have your newsletters, subscriber list. And so when you put a show into the mix, then you add a extra revenue stream into your business. And not only that, now you can help your online business. So you, you know, once you get to know the people, you give them the business card when they're ready to purchase, then your online business will also grow as well. And number 14, um, practice and refine your elevator pitch, which is true. You got to refine your elevator pitch. You got to be able to be so uh, comfortable with talking to people and selling your art. Okay. I remember, you know, like a few uh, Facebook lives before that I was telling you how when I first opened my art gallery, I didn't know what to say. I was so uncomfortable. And even the same with when we did the jewelry, I was very uncomfortable. And it took a lot of practice before it, you know, it became like, like, you know, riding a bicycle, right? It became easier and easier as you do more and more of it. And same with Facebook Live. The more I do a, more of it, the more comfortable I get. That's the reason, uh, that's one of the reasons I keep doing it, other than, you know, I find that this is very helpful for artists that want to do a business and also it's a great way to introduce my products. So artists, if you want to uh, test your products, but you're not committed to it yet and you still want to keep your nine to five job, do a few art shows. Pick the best ones. Two or three will do. OK, it will suffice. It will be able you'll be able to meet the right people. You'll be able to get some sort of subscriber list. You'll be able to help your online business to grow. And if you need more help in growing your business, I do have a creating a profitable art business Facebook group. It's free and it's a great way to learn how to market your art because everything is about art marketing. It's about marketing your product and to keep it, you know, that to keep it sustainable, profitable and also authentic. It's all about art marketing. So don't give up on it. Keep working on it and come and join us. And uh, after this Facebook Live, I'll put a link to it so you can join us and it'll be great because it's a great community. There's a lot of great artists and you guys can, you know, basically uh, communicate together, network, because that's an important part of business. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you next week.